On March 10th, Senators Joni Ernst and Chuck Grassley introduced the Tornado Act five days after deadly tornadoes struck parts of central and southern Iowa. Now, yesterday, the bill gained bipartisan support in the Senate. Local 5's Dave Downey joins us in the studio now with more. Dave. Yes, Samantha, Illinois Democratic Senator Tammy Duckworth jumped on board late yesterday. Uh, here is that 13 page bill in my hand. It focuses on a few different things. Here are the three big ones I think from that bill. It's a pilot program. Uh, number one uh, for kind of new techniques of dangerous weather communication to kind of get that out to the public in the most easiest and uh, fashionable way, but also easily understandable. Uh, also real time forecast data to issue tornado warnings. That's pretty big in the future. Computers could have an ability to issue tornado warnings based on what they see uh, on the radar. And then number three, interesting one here, uh, they could evaluate the EF tornado rating system. Of course, you know, EF one through five, you've heard of that before. Uh, that's been in place since 2007. Of course, all of this intended to help us in central Iowa. It's U.S. Senate Bill 3817 and would bring the biggest upgrades to severe weather forecasting and awareness for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in years. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst in a statement to Local 5 today underscoring the importance of both sides of the aisle coming together. Quote, it's critical we do everything we can as quickly as we can to protect and keep our families safe, which is why I'm pleased this important legislation is now gaining bipartisan support. To improve communication during tornadic situations, the bill plans to set up a pilot research program testing effectiveness of reaching the public with easily understandable information in effort to increase action and a quick response. Also, the bill aims to begin what they call a warn on forecast plan. The goal is to use high resolution forecast data to issue and continue tornado warnings in real time. There are also plans to reevaluate the EF system used to rate tornadoes on a scale of one to five, which has been the norm since 2007. But the main goal of the bill to learn and improve from the communication problem on March 5th, causing several minutes of delay between when the warnings were issued and delivered to the public, hoping to prevent that from happening again. Senator Grassley also telling Local 5 that he is, quote, pleased to see bipartisan support uh, growing for the bill, end quote. The bill is currently being considered by a Senate committee. If passed, it heads to the Senate for a vote. Live in studio, Dave Downey, Local 5 News, for your Iowa.